Hey, welcome to this week's In the Shop with Scott. I got a little more time than usual, so I got a lot more products. I actually have three or four things uh, going at one time, which is a little crazy for me. Um, working on this Ash picture frame, I'll tell you more about that. So, hope you enjoy the video. I started the week off using the strips I cut and glued last week to glue up a fish landing net. I'm using ash for the inner and outer strip to help provide strength and then the colorful ones in the middle. As you can see these bent extremely well. I don't know what it is but these things are really fun to make. I added glue to the piece that I glued up last week and then clamped this in place. I always give five or more days so the tension in the wood will relax and hopefully not split the net apart. While the net was drying, I started cutting some 1x6 maple and cherry boards I had on hand for a large chopping board. I rough cut these to the needed length and then passed through the drum sander to remove any ridges from the planer. These were provided by Forest to Home. I then ripped these down to an inch and seven eighths wide, which gave me three strips per board. I recently talked with a neighbor that had a close call with a table saw which is a good safety reminder to always use a push stick. I glued this massive 20 by 30 inch edge grain board in two sections so that I can still pass it through the planer. All right, so the next project I'm gonna work on while lots of glue is drying is a picture frame so a while back I drew this up it's just been sitting on my desk waiting to get started so got some ash boards up there gonna start milling those up and see how this goes I ran the boards through the planer to make sure I had an even thickness while the planer was set up and the glue dried on the chopping board I pulled the sections out of clamps and got them smoothed out I noticed the dust collection bag was filling up. It was time to empty the bin. The two sections were glued and clamped again. Back to the picture frame project, I first ripped a three inch strip from each ash board. and then the remaining to two and a half inches wide. Then trim the ends of each board and cut them to length. This gave me a couple scrap pieces to practice the joinery on. I set the marking guide to the thickness of the boards for the top and bottom of the frame and then transferred this to a piece the same width as the sides. Using a jig I made a while back, I cut pins for what will look like a dovetail joint. This jig just keeps the piece at a 9 degree angle to the blade.
Using the handsaw, I made the shoulder cuts. Using a marking knife, I marked the edges of the pin on the rail scrap piece. With a dado stack and a table saw and the miter gauge set to a 9 degree angle, I started working away material down to the lines I had marked. It's always easier to take more off, kind of hard to add it back. Then flipped the miter gauge to 9 degrees the other direction and continued cutting. Once my test fit was good, I needed to remove material from the back of the pin. This will give a half lap joint with the appearance of a dovetail on the face. Happy with the test pieces, it was time to repeat these steps on the actual pieces for the build. Instead of a marking gauge, I held the material together and marked with a knife this time. Again, repeated the angle cuts in the bandsaw and the shoulder cuts as well. I wrapped up the weekend removing the material on the back of the pins to be ready for the half lap joints. I hope you enjoyed the variety of projects this week and help me out by making sure you are subscribed and drop a comment or question. Who knows, maybe I'll reference it in a future video.